Good day grade 11 STEM students and welcome to the HP Classroom. In the last video, we have discussed about mathematical induction and this is the second example. We need to prove that for all positive integers n, 2 thirds plus 2 over 9 plus 2 over 27 until 2 over 3 raised to n is equal to 3 raised to n minus 1 all over 3 raised to n. And we will start off with the first step, which is the verification. For the verification, we need to use the initial values of n, which is 1, 2, and 3. So we have n is equal to 1. We need to use the first term of the series, which is 2 thirds equals 3 raised to n minus 1 over 3n. So we have 2 thirds equals, change the value of n to 1, 3 raised to 1 minus 1 over 3 raised to 1. And after simplifying, we have 2 thirds equals 3 raised to 1 is 3 minus 1 over 3. So 2 thirds is equal to 2 thirds. Okay. For the next value, we have n is equal to 2. Now, we need to add the two terms of the series, which is 2 thirds plus 2 over 9 equals the expression on the other side of the equation, which is 3 raised to n, 3 raised to n minus 1, all over 3n. So we need to get the LCD of 3 and 9, which is 9, and we got 6, then plus 2 equals 3, change n to 2, which is 3 raised to 2 minus 1 over 3 raised, 3 raised to 2. So we have 8 over 9, 3 raised to 2 is 9 minus 1 over 9. So 8 over 9 is equal to 8 over 9. So they are equal. For n is equal to 3, we need to add the first three terms of the series, equate it to the values on the other side of the equation. 2 thirds plus 2 over 9 plus 2 over 27 equals 3 raised to n minus 1 over 3 raised to n. Again, we need to get the LCD, which is 27. 27 divided by 3 times 2, it's 18. Plus, 27 divided by 9 times 2 is 6. 27 divided by 27 times 2 is 2. And change n into 3. So, 3 raised to 3, or 3 cubes minus 1 over 3 cubes. Then we add the numerator. We have 26 over 27, which is equal to 27 minus 1 over 27. So the final answer is 26 over 27 equals 26 over 27. So now that we have proven the verification, let's now go to the second step, which is the hypothesis. So hypothesis is very easy because we simply change the value of the variable n into k. So let n be equal to k. Again, we need to write the equation and change n by k. We have 2 thirds plus 2 over 9 
plus 2 over 27 until 2 over 3. We need to change n with k, so 3 raised to k equals 3 raised to k minus 1 over 3 raised to k. So that's it for hypothesis. Now we can have the third step, which is the assumption. For assumption, we simply change the values of n into k plus 1. Again, we need to write the equation. And change k into k plus 1. Now, we have 2 thirds plus 2 over 9 plus 2 over 27 plus until 2 over 3 raised to k plus 1 equals 3 raised to k plus 1 minus 1 all over 3 raised to k plus 1. So that is for our assumption. For proving, or for the proof, the third step, or fourth step, we need to use the values we get from n equals k and n equals k plus 1. Again, we need to write the equation. 2 thirds plus 2 over 9 plus 2 over 27. So we need to be patient here until we get the answer. So we have... Again, we need to write first what we get from n is equal to k. And that is 2 over 3 raised to k. So let's write 2 over 3 raised to k plus... The last term, which is 2 over 3k plus 1, from our assumption, equate it with 3 raised to k minus 1 over 3 raised to k, 3 raised to k minus 1 over 3k, and to balance the equation, again, we need to write 2 over, we need to add 2 over 3 raised to k plus 1. Now, we can now prove, prove this equation, but the denominators are different, so we need to do something in order for their denominators to be the same. And we can do this by 3 raised to k minus 1 over 3 raised to k and we need to multiply them by 3 over 3 plus 2 over k 3k raised to k plus 1 how how is 3 over 3 can help the equation let us recall our concepts on multiplication law of exponents, wherein if there is the same base, uh, two factors that who have the same bases, we need to write the same base and add the exponents, just like here, because 3 raised to k plus 3 raised to 1 is e will be equal to 3 raised to k plus 1. We cannot add them because k is a variable and 1 is a constant. So this will help us answer the problem. So we have 3 raised to k plus 1. Then negative 1 times, ne times 3 is negative 3. And 3k three times 3 is equal to 3 
plus the k plus 1 plus 2 over 3 plus the k plus 1. Since they have na they have common denominator now, so we can now evaluate them. 3 raised to k plus 1, I just add, I just write the denominator first. And write 3 raised to k plus 1 minus 3 plus 2. And then let's evaluate the common terms. So we have 3 raised to k plus 1 minus 1 over 3 raised to k plus 1. And if we will look back on our assumption, we can clearly say that they are the same. So this is our assumption and this is our proof. So the answer is the same. And we can now have our conclusion for the fifth step. So I will write it here. Conclusion. Since P of N is true where N is equal to 1, 2, or 3 are the positive values for n and p of 2 is equal to p of 3 that is equal and They are true whenever n is equal to k and n is equal to k plus 1. Then p of n is true. for all natural numbers so this is the second example for the mathematical induction